Hello happy people, my name is Dan and today we are going to be looking at some more GM48 Game Jam games. All of these games have been made in 48 hours and are around the theme of 60 seconds. So let's take a look. Okay folks, so up first we have Super Puzzle Rush. Uh, in this game you have 60 seconds per level and what you have to do is move those little cats, I think they are cats, um, and put them on those orange heads. <laughs> um, I don't really know what they are, but they're really cute. I love the art style here, it's got that really sort of old Game Boy feel about it. It's cute, it's minimalistic. Um, I did go for a few more levels than I'm going to show off in this video, just because I'm trying to sort of even out the time for everyone, and also because I could really just devote a whole, uh, whole video to some of these games. They are really, really well done. Um, so, yeah, the premise is simple, and it's just really, really simple. It's very, very floaty, um, which is quite... It was a bit of getting used to, um, but I liked it. I, I got the hang of it, and I liked it. This is fun, though. <laughs> this is me trying to stack cats on top of each other before I realised you have got... Look at that. Floaty, gravitational cats. I'm going to call them cats. I have no idea if they are cats. Um... But that is how I did that level. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed. So up next, we have got... Brilliant. I love it when they announce their name. Saves me doing it. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is Chrono Electro. And in this one, you are collecting those snazzy little doodads and taking them into your manhole cover. And here's the fun bit. Look at that. You pause time and move backwards or forwards in steps to uh, basically redo and get yourself out of this pit, which took me a long time to figure out. I should have read the instructions. <laughs> but it's a really good game. I love the art style, I love the mechanic, and it's a, it's a really clever concept. Um, also, I was watching the developer of this game, uh, a dude called Seltzy, play my game the other day, and that's what I really like about this jam. It's, you know, it's a really good community spirit, everyone gets along. Uh, so Seltzy, if you're watching, you can now enjoy watching me suck at your game. <laughs> um, yes, I went into the little manhole there, and... I love the art style, really, really cute. Um, again, this is one of those that I could put a whole video to because it's one of those where rather than just having the 60 seconds and that's that you you do have 60 seconds but time stops when you rewind which is really clever and I just love the art style I just I really think it's really clever <laughs> I'm blown away by this one uh, so good job man and let's see what else we got Next up today, we have got Revert, and in Revert, what you have is uh, you're in this very big maze contraption uh, confinement room building place. I don't know, you're in a big maze, and uh, you are Megatron. <laughs> um, and what you're doing is shooting those alien guys and you are collecting uh, these little equipment upgrades as you go along like uh, better weapons, better armour, better shooties, all sorts of little things and bits and bobs that make it easier to progress to the eventual goal of escaping. Uh, when your time runs out you go back to the start, you reset, but you keep your upgrades which means that it makes it easier to get to the end. You have four reverts, which I really think is just a, a hyped up word for lives at this point. <laughs> and in that time, if you don't escape like I didn't, all hell will break loose. And there you have it. I definitely need to try that again, because as it clearly says, I failed to escape. So let's see what else. What else do we have today? So finally today, this is your brain on drugs. Actually, it's Prism Portal, and in this game, you have you start with 60 seconds, you collect diamonds, uh, there's one up there, and what you have to do is collect the diamonds, you get more time, you collect them all, you win the game. And I just love the art style. Um, it's simple, it's minimalistic, but just look at the colours! That is amazing! I think the shaders on this is 
yeah, really, really impressive. And what I really think is clever, I don't know if you noticed it there, I just did it, uh, I did it again. If you fall out of level, there's no sort of death state situation. What you basically do is it, you fall out and then it restarts back to where you were at the start of the level, so it all looks like one big continuous loop. I think that's a really clever move. Kind of gives me the old uh, Bowser Castle vibes. You go down the wrong path, you have to go back to the beginning. But in this time, in this case, Bowser Castle, but on LSD. Which is really the right way to Bowser Castle. <laughs> I did get massively stuck at this bit. I'm not going to lie. I did not figure out how to get that diamond or that one. They're just there and I can't reach them. I am not jumpy enough. But I will figure it out. In the meantime, though, that is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed. And, as I said before, I may do this again. If you don't hear me say that again, it's because I didn't do it again. But I am having a lot of fun with these, so stick around. Bye!